Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, so, um, we're outside today, and I've got the job of cutting back all this uh, that's here. It doesn't look like a much, but it's really overgrown in there. Some of these trees are really tall, and the only one we really need to keep is this apple tree here. Everything else I'm going to bring down to uh, about four or five foot, and keep it as like a hedge. Uh, so we're going to be clearing that out, and clearing everything from over there uh, so uh, it's rather windy today so i apologize um if uh, there's a lot of wind noise in the video hopefully there won't be because uh, we are quite sheltered here but anyway so uh, i'll quickly show you what we've got to contend with today and then we'll get cracking okay so we're out here uh, this is around the back of the house and i want to get this area here cleared because uh, it's just gone crazy and it's starting to affect the apple tree there starting to suffer uh, it's all this hazel and ivy and whatever else is all just grown up through here i mean some of these trees are really tall now and uh, they're all weeds really so uh, we're going to rip all that out cut it down i want to keep it about the height of the fence post just to make it a nice little hedge area and um, also for the wildlife as well. And all this bit here is going to be cleared. So all this just weeds and some brambles and stuff in there. So it's a beautiful day here. Uh, we're in Mid Wales here uh, in the UK. And it's an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, we've got some rain dew and it's rather windy, but the sun's out. So we're out doing stuff. So this is a shot from this side. So all this, I'm gonna bring it down to about the height of this fence post and keep it as hedge area. Uh, what we don't want is it completely overgrown because uh, it's swamping this tree in here and it's starting to suffer because it's not produced too many apples the past couple of years. Uh, Cause it's just swamped in these weeds. So we'll clear that out a bit. Uh, so I'll go set the camera up somewhere and we'll make a start.
Okay, so we're getting there. Then along chopped all that back. It's already looking a lot of light around here. It's not a let, letting a lot more light to the tree. Uh, so um, done this side. Some of these are really quite thick, and I've only got hand tools with me today. Uh, no petrol tools, so um, take a bit longer than normal, but never mind. Uh, so I'm just gonna take you around the other side, and we'll carry on with that bit. Uh, just gonna do the same on this side, lop all this down to about three or four foot, and then we'll see where we go from there.
Okay, everyone. Uh, so we're done for the day now. Um, so we did it. It wasn't a massive job, but it's only taken me about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, with no petrol tools either, so I, I could have come in here with my chainsaw and just lopped the top of everything. But I like to see if there's any wildlife in there. And obviously, you saw that frog in there. If I just trimmed that, probably would have killed that frog. So, so sometimes I just like to get at it with hand tools save some petrol and that uh, but anyway so uh, i hope you enjoyed today's video uh, i don't know if you find it <laughs> interesting or not but uh, they seem pretty popular these garden clearance videos or hedge cutting and stuff like that so if you like what you see uh, leave a comment and a thumbs up on the video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet uh, again if you didn't like the video feel free to thumbs down it so all the same to me uh, so anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you on the next one, hope you all have a great week, see you later.